Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we will continue with part 4 of our Oxygen Builder tutorial. In this video we will create a new header, footer and create our hero area. Before we begin, make sure you subscribe to my channel and if you like this video please don't forget to like, comment and share. You can also follow me on Twitter and support me on Patreon where I will be posting exclusive tutorials, reviews, and provide free consultancy starting 1st of August. You will find the links in the description. Starting today, we will be working with a Figma project I specifically created for this design set. You will find the link in the description so you can follow with me. Please note that this design set will be available on my website once completed as a free design set for Oxygen and also as a WordPress theme. At the end of the tutorial, I will be posting the links. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is create this header over here. So let's go to the oxygen page. Before we start adding, let's just go to settings and global styles, fonts. Let's choose opens as we have made some changes on the Figma project. So we're using Poppins now. Let's save that. And the text we're using 18 body text 18 with black color. Okay, so save that. Let's go now to let's add just the sections and columns here. Let's make this a hundred. That's what we're doing now, and the width would be a hundred as well. Okay, good. Now let's talk. Let's go to add helpers, header builder. And let's set the background first, the background color, which is on the first frame. Let's choose this one over here. The background color to this dark blue color, which is good. And we're not going to make this gradient. I'll tell you why later. So we're good. Let's make the size and spacing. Padding is a hundred on both sides and twenty-five up and down. Very good. Now let's add a link wrapper. Okay, good. Let's add an Oh, sorry. Let's add an image to that and choose our logo from the media library. And let's set uh, the width to 120. Yeah, that's good. Let's save. Now let's add another section. Let's go with the menu first. So let's go to WordPress and choose menu. This is our main menu here. Move that to the last row. Good. 
let's change the sizing. Okay. So we have it as poppins, semi bold, and 24 pixels. If you need more information about that, you can go to inspect over here and it's going to tell you exactly all the details. Like the weight is 600, the size is 24 pixels, the line height. So let's go over there. Let's change the colors to white. Font size is 24. It's poppins and That's it. Yep. This is it. I think we're good. Maybe we need to change the spacing. It's 43 pixels between each, so let's go to spacing and change that to 43. Yep. This is good. That's all of that. Yeah. Now let's add the last element that we have in the header, which is the button. Let's go back and add a button. And let's make the color here green. The content is get now. Let's make the text size. We have it here as okay. So let me remove these rulers. So we have the text at 28. 28. That's good. And we got the padding as 28 from right and left and 17 from both other other let's make the font weight as 700 good let's go to size and spacing add the padding 38 and 17 above and below that's good now let's Go to borders and add the uh, 12 pixel port radius. Okay. Yeah, I think we're good. But we need more space between the elements. Remember, we added 43 pixels here. And the uh, Space between those two is 114. So take away 43, that's 71. So let's add 71 pixels to the bottom as a margin here. 71. Yep. So we got the right spacing. Let's save that. And the reason I didn't do the linear gradient here in the header is because we're going to create the hero area in the home page and we're going to add this header as an overlay so we're going to add it we're going to add the linear gradient to the home page to the hero area itself with this header as an overlay but on other pages we're not going to use this linear gradient uh, gradient so we don't need to create it at the header here 
so let's save that and let's go let's add inner content here add a new section and the section will have the footer area Let's add the background color. Oh, sorry. I'll post part two tomorrow. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, share it, and see you guys tomorrow. Thanks.